Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a meet my hamster video. So I got a pet and it's a hamster. So I wanted to make a video kind of talking about my hamster, I guess. I don't really know. Um, so I got her yesterday as of the day that I'm filming this. Actually, it is midnight. So I got her two days ago. Um, I got her on January 26th, and, um, yeah, <laughs> so I guess I'll start by talking about, like, two years ago, because I guess this kind of starts two years ago. So, two years ago, I begged my mom for a hamster, and eventually she broke down, like, a month, maybe a couple weeks later, and she broke down, and... I got a hamster. Her name was Rain. She was a Chinese dwarf hamster. I had her for a while. She ended up passing away like a month, literally a month after I got her. So then I got another hamster and his name was Elliot. And I don't remember what breed of hamster he was, but I know he was a dwarf. So I'll insert pictures of both my hamsters. This is Rain and this is Elliot. So that's what they look like. You can go back and pause that if you didn't really see them fast enough because I didn't really give that much time to look at them. But, um, yeah. Uh, Elliot ended up passing away about two months after I got him, which really sucks. Like, they passed away pretty quickly after I got them. So after that, I decided to get a rat and, and like, long story short... I didn't like the rat. She was evil. Um, she liked to bite me. And once we got my cats, she was also evil. So anyways, I took a long break from having rodents. I took about like a little less than a year break from having rodents. And um, a couple months ago, I started... Oh yeah, by the way, my rat, uh, she didn't pass away, but we gave her to another home because she just wasn't fit for this home. Um... There's a whole bunch of reasons. Like I said, she was evil. Um, she did not like me. She did not like anybody. Um, we did not. We didn't get her from the best place that we could have gotten her. So that's why we took like extra measures when we got this hamster. So, anyways, a couple months ago, I started asking my dad for a hamster. He kind of just like laughed it off. He kept laughing it off, whatever. And then eventually, like it started to become a little more real. We started to get some stuff. I started to you know you know, like, think of the names and that kind of stuff, and we definitely did our research this time, which is good, like, I did my research with my hamsters, but since we didn't really do that much enough research, I guess, with the rat, we definitely just wanted to make sure we did a lot of extra research with the hamster, you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, it just slowly became, like, a real thing, you know what I mean, so, um, on... Saturday we went to a store called Dave's Soda and Pet City so they have a couple in my area and I'm not really sure where else they have them but I just know that they have them in my area so it's like a pet store that also sells sto soda I really don't understand that soda like I have so many questions Dave but you know whatever I can't change it anyways this was the place that we decided was the best place to get a hamster at least in my area um, there's, like, not very many options with hamsters. Like, a lot of people only have Petco, which kind of sucks. I personally don't, um, believe in buying animals in, from Petco. Um, I do believe in adopting them because you can adopt hamsters from Petco. Like, kind of like the rejects, I guess. They have, like, adoptions in, that they keep in, like, the back at some Petcos. But, um, I personally just... I thought that Dave's was a better option than Petco. But the reason why I personally don't believe in buying animals from there and PetSmart is just because I don't think that they treat their animals right. Um, I'd rather buy, like, supplies from them, not, like, the actual animals. Um, their cages are way too small. They keep them, like, together. Also, like, I feel like a lot, like, I think most pet stores keep animals together and, like, smaller cages because one is a temporary home and two um they don't really have that many options like they can't have a bunch of like really great like 
they can't have like a bunch of 40 gallon tanks like I have for my hamster. So I, I, I get that. But at the same time, like, I just personally don't believe in Petco or PetSmart. Like, I've watched a lot of, like, YouTube videos of people, like, filming behind the scenes, like, of Petco that people, that like, people that work there. And they don't abuse their animals. Like, I guess abuse, it would be, like, on the abuse scale. But it's, like, it's just not good. Like, I... I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting off on a whole different note. But, um, yeah, we decided on Dave's. And we went there. We, look, we looked around. And they only had males. So I was like, great. This sucks. This was, like, the last pet store that, like, the options that we had. Because we checked out. There's two Dave's in my area. And we checked out the other one um, on Friday. And that one didn't have any any Syrian hamsters at all. I want a Syrian female hamsters for my own reasons. One, I've never had a Syrian and I just prefer females to be honest. Um, so I, we went to the other Dave's and then once we saw that there were no females, we we're like, great, like a our last option, like what are we going to do? So I decided before we left, I wanted to take one more look around and I realized that the male Syrian hamsters that they had, cause they only had one cage full of uh, Syrians. So I looked back at it and it actually, so it had like, it was like typed out and they, I guess they like typed it wrong or something. So they added F-E with a Sharpie in front of the male. So they did have females, but I just totally skipped over the Sharpie because my brain didn't see that. So they did have females, which was really great. I was really excited about that. So they had three uh, females in there. They had a... Um, like a one that was like cream color, just like all cream all over. And then there was one that was like the golden teddy bear hamsters. If you know about hamsters, those are like, when you think of like a Syrian hamster, you're going to think of like a golden one. Um, and then they also had one that was like white with some like brown spots and like areas. And there was like a bunch of like brown mixing with the white, you know what I mean? So I decided to go with the brown and white one. Um, so, yeah, I named her Ivy. She is only a couple months old at the moment. I guess she's, like, about two months old. We kind of, like, guesstimated her birthday. So, I don't know why I say guesstimated. I just really like that word. So, um, my dad says that her birthday is... I was about to say February, what? Um, I was, so it's, like, November 27th, I think, is what he said. So, we're gonna call it her birthday, but they didn't have a date, so that's her birthday. And, um, yeah, she is super, super friendly. Um, we brought her home immediately. We put her in the cage and we kept her in overnight cause you're not really supposed to play with them for the first like day or two. And I've only had her for two days at the moment. So, um, I left her in there and then like this morning I woke up and I went to check if she had any food and all of her food was still there. So I was like, that's really strange, especially because when we got her at the pet store, um, they gave her a little treat and she like ate it right away. Like no hesitation. She just ate it right away. So that kind of gave me like in my mind, I thought, oh, this hamster likes to eat because my last hamster, Elliot, he loved eating. And one day, um, my, I was at my dad's house, but my stepdad was watching him, like feeding him every day. And, um, he realized that the food bowl, like, all the food was still there. And then we later found him dead because, yeah, because it's, like, really weird that he didn't eat his food. So that's why I got a little bit worried when I saw that she didn't eat her, all of her food this morning. So I kind of, like, dug her out, like, under the bedding. And she was perfectly fine. She was super happy to see me, which is weird because hamsters, like, at least my other hamsters, like, when I'd ever wake them up, they would be the most angry hamsters in the world. They would not do anything. They just sit there like, please put the bedding on top of me. I'm so bored. Stop. I want to go back to bed. So, um, like what, why did I say I'm so bored? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, she like came right out. She like explored. She's super nice. Anyways, then today, um, I took her out again or later today. Cause that was today. But, um, uh, later today I, or yesterday, whatever. It really doesn't matter. Um, 
I did that same thing again because I just wanted to play with her and I know you should not do that. I know that's so mean to your hamster, but since she was like really happy to come out earlier, I was like, is that's okay? Like, I don't know. I want to play with the hamster. And she came out right away and she was super friendly. I even picked her up and she was like perfectly fine. And I know once again, you're not supposed to pick up your hamsters like the, the first couple of days. Like some people even say like a week. So yeah, I've only had her for two days, but I've already picked her up because she was super friendly. She didn't try to bite me at all. And yeah, she really liked being picked up. So um, that's kind of about Ivy. So I kind of wanted to talk about her name because her name means a lot to me at least. So when I was thinking of a name for a hamster, I knew I wanted a girl hamster. So I was just thinking of girl names. Um, and I know that like you can't really, I personally don't like to look up names when you're like trying to name a hamster because all of the names are like Bubbles, Fluffy, like those like really generic, like not so fun names. So, I didn't look them up, but I was thinking, like, what can I name her that, like, it kind of means something to me. So, as you guys know, if you don't know this, you're probably blind or new to my channel. So, um, I like Quince. Could you tell? Like, comment down below if you could tell, because I really could not tell by my videos. Anyways, um, I like Quince. So, I was reading the Dion Quince book, which let me get... We Were Five. It actually doesn't have a cover on it because this is like a really old copy, but it's We Were Five and 1000% recommend reading this book. It's amazing. It's made or it's written by the same or the real Dion Quince. Why can't I speak? Anyways, so I was reading that book and I was thinking like, how can I make a name af like out of them or after them, not out of them, after them. So I was thinking, because they all have nicknames for each other that only they called each other. So Yvonne's name was Ivy. Annette's name, Annette's nickname was Netta. Cecile's name was Sis. Emily's name was M. And Marie's name was Peewee. So I was thinking, like, which of those names is a real name? And I was like, Ivy. So Ivy is named after one of the Dion Quince, Yvonne. So yeah, if you want to know where I got her name from, that's where I got her name from. So yeah, I really don't have anything else to talk about in this video. I just wanted to kind of like explain this in a video. Um, I'll insert a picture, no, I'll insert a picture, at, a couple pictures at the end of Ivy because Ivy is really cute and I love her. So um, yeah, so enjoy some pictures of Ivy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.